What's up, Luchi Gang? Baby. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly G. I am Senor Suerte. And this is Lucky Lou. What is your Make sure you say true, hit the like button. And don't be a hater on your life. Subscribe right now. Anyway, today's a real okay. special day for me because I got the results in. It took a good six weeks. If y'all don't remember, on my birthday, uh, yeah, I don't know if we showed it on the blog, but on my birthday, Kelly, well, one of my gifts was the Ancestry uh, DNA thing where I had to send in my spit and saliva and they extract the DNA from it and then they tell you what your ethnicity is broken down to all your percentages and what you know where you come from so huge shout out to diana because if you have not seen the video of me surprising my husband for his birthday i threw him a huge surprise party diana was in on it vanessa was in on it everybody was in on it close everybody that came through was in on it uh but yeah huge shout out to diana because she got him the ancestry and, and, and i didn't even realize that all those cars were parked on my street when i walked in the house i really was surprised all the people were there because i just thought but i saw cars like parked down the street but i didn't recognize no one's cars so I just thought like our neighbors had lots of people over. Yeah, well, Suzanne was in on it also, which is our neighbor across the street. And I had let her know that um, all the guests were gonna park in her driveway and you know, alongside from her house. Anyway, so that happened. one of my gifts was Ancestry. And today it, is, it took about, what, like a month and a half? To Not even back. like two months. So your birthday was April 20th. Today is June 17th. I, I yeah, a month and a half, a month and a half, and he got it back today. But like it tells him, like, okay, DNA was received. Okay, DNA is getting extracted, or and then um, it takes a while for them to extract all the DNA. So, or like just go through the history of his DNA. And it's crazy because he like has a list of like relative relatives that have gotten the ancestors like that. it shows you your second cousins and third cousins and fourth cousins and, and i was so, not on there no I'm just kidding it's a long list of people on there. i haven't gotten one done and i actually want to do it um now that he knows his dna but they take forever so that's what like is draining me so look i'm about to show you right now what i got all right so i click on my dna story and these are the countries that i come from Western uh, Africa, uh, European, Italy, uh, over here, up there is uh, Scotland. But yeah, man, uh, German, Poland, your Ukraine, uh, and then Mexico, Central America, and all the way over here in California. Huh? Yes. And then. Uh, if you look, so this is the percentage breakdown. 45% is indigenous Americas, Mexico, Tamaulipas, and South Texas. You know I'm from that South Texas, baby. You skipped Nuevo Leon. Nuevo Leon. Oh, I thought that was the same. Nuevo no. Leon and Tamaulipas. That's two different places. Yeah. Northeastern Mexico and South Texas. 45%. 32% is Spain. 9% is Portuguese. I would have never thought that. I would have never thought this. 4% is Congo, West African, Bantu people. Look at these people. Thank you. Look, this is why I like the rainforest so much right here. Let me show you. Right here. This is where my roots come from, baby. The rainforest people. Look at these people. I'm 5%. Look at that. That's why I got so much soul and rhythm in me, man. That's why I can flow the way I flow, man. You know what I'm <laughs> You ain't know. <laughs> I'm 5%. These people was out there Zulu Nation. You know what I'm saying? They was outside dancing around, baby. Yeah. That's my people right there. 5%. You know what I'm saying? And then check this out. I got 2% France. French. You know what I'm saying? I could I, I, I pretty much knew that. Knew that. You know what I'm saying? Because that seems a little... That's where my bougie side come from. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My little bougie side come from over there in France. And then, hold on, hold on. Let me go and get to the, this gonna be the, here's the real kicker. Y'all ready for the kicker? 2% Jewish. 
I got royal bloodline. I'm a direct descendant of King Solomon, King David, Abraham, the 12 lost tribes of Israel. We got sent out of Egypt. Origin of the Jews, baby. Israel. The promised land. Kingdom of Israel, 1,000 years before Christ. The exile. After the reign of David and his son Solomon, the kingdom split into the northern or Israelite kingdom and the kingdom of Judah in the south. Say, man, I got royal bloodline in me, man. You know what I'm saying? Direct descendant of Abraham, Jacob, King David, King Solomon. You hear me? Look at that. Daddy, you should have lost the... Boy. Man, come on, man. I'm trying to Daddy. told you. And then I got 2% Southern Italy, Italian, or Italiano. Look but we knew Italian. that. 1% Scotland. Yeah, we didn't know nothing about that. Scotland, they got some kings in Scotland. That's where they had them castles at. And then Senegal. You know where Senegal is? No. Westernmost nation in Africa. 1,000 miles above the equator. Most miles of beaches along the Atlantic. It's bordered by Mauritania, Mali, Guinea, Guinea. Uh, I don't know. But let me show you where it's at. Look at these people. Senegal. Google it. Archaeological findings indicate that the Senegal area has been inhabited since prehistoric times for the last millennium at least. Trade routes have helped shape the area. But look, this is it. It's a beach off the coast of Africa. Look at him. Look at my great, great, great grandpa. Man, check him out. He got a rifle. He's strapped up. Wrestling. What they call him, people? The, uh, on that movie, uh, man, I forgot there. I forgot. I forgot. You sound like Leah Leah. Played the bongos. But yeah, man, that's it. That's it. A big old soup bowl of Indian, Portuguese, Spanish, African, French. Not Indian as in like in India. Indian as in like Native, Native American. American. Like, yeah. yeah. Hold on, I'm getting FaceTime real quick. My ancestry report, man. I got I got a percentage of Jewish. I got that royal bloodline in me, direct descendant of King Solomon, baby. I got I got that Spaniard in me. You got Span I got I got like uh thirty percent Spanish in me too. I got the Spain in me. Uh, my sister did a, 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 a Ancestry tree. I was like, dang, we come from Spain? That's crazy. Yeah, I had Spain. I had African. What, what threw me off, I had 5% West Africa. <laughs> I, re I, I already know you. I already know you had that in you. <laughs> Anyways, he had to take a phone call and we pulled up to the gas station. He just finished pumping the gas. He's about to get in. But we are on our way because I have an appointment to get my lashes retouched. I need a refill on these lashes. Um, my appointment's not till 11 and it's 10.05. So we're really early and we're like down the street. Um, you wanna go to Starbucks? Sure. Hey, did y'all know I got a, a, the PPP challenge in effect right now going on? Prayer, push-ups, and proverbs. I'm challenging you. 90 day challenge to change your life around and i'm only doing this because people be constantly hitting me up messaging me asking for advice asking how and i can't message every single person back and i can't you know as much as i would love to i just can't hit every single person back so i'm giving a broad answer a general answer to the question how can i help my life and overcome these stresses and anxieties and whatever it is you're facing Start your morning with prayer, push-up, and proper every day. Every day, seven days a week, every single day. Do it every day. Do it every day, and it ain't gonna happen overnight, but if you grow, it's just like going to the gym. Kelly didn't see results the first day she went to the gym, but now that she's been going every day, she sees results. You know what I'm saying? It's the same every thing. Every day, I take one rest day, you guys, but yes, it's the fact that you have to be consistent. Consistency That compound key. interest adds up. I've been seeing so much muscle growth and it's awesome. I love it. My stomach's on flat, flat. 
<laughs> but you guys, yes, PPP challenge, join on if you want any. Um, and then somebody hit me, left me a comment right now and they said, how? It ain't, it, what do you mean how? Just wake up in the morning, pray, do some push-ups, <laughs> read a proverb. If it's the day is the 13th, read the 13th proverb. There's 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs. So whatever date it is, read that proverb. If it's January 20th, read the 20th proverb. If it's August 31st, read the 31st proverb. If it's April 15th, read the 15th proverb. You know what I'm saying? So what Licky does is as soon as he wakes up, he doesn't even brush his teeth. He goes and he goes in his prayer room, which is just a closet. It's nothing fancy. He goes and has intimate time with the Lord and just gives his day to the Lord and just, you know. Give thanks. He gives thanks and he prays. And a lot of, if you don't know how to pray and you think that you got to go in there and just start asking God for things you want in your life, don't do that. What you want to do is go in there and just give thanks for everything you already have in your life. And if, you know what I'm saying? That could be just Not only up. that, just if you don't know how to pray, just say, God, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm just trying to um, change my life around. I'm trying to do new things and I want to invite you in my life. Yes, help me. Yeah, help me. And that's it. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, but yeah, he does that. Then he brushes his teeth and all that. Then I hit the push-ups. Oh, then and, he does his push-ups. And like, then I go brush my teeth. Yeah. And then I go wake up Kingston and tell him, get up and tell him to do the same thing. And then we go outside and go run around the track. And the track is not, it's only like a half a mile, or quarter mile track. It's not like you got to go run a mile in the morning. It's just enough to get your heart pumping. You know what I'm saying? So you take a little five-minute jog. Just run five minutes that way, five minutes this way. You know what I mean? It's nothing like hard. Not, it's just And it's not about enjoying it. It's about breaking a habit and um, overcoming your body. Yes, yeah, overcoming your body. There you go. Defeating the flesh. Yeah. Yes. You want to build your spirit and build your mind. And that's how you do it. And I would recommend reading a good book. I've been reading two good books right now. And you know, you gotta find some some good books that are on personal growth or just go to Amazon or Google or something and find a book on personal growth spiritual growth or, or like something that along the lines of what you're doing ladies any recommendations that I have uh, I've been reading the uh, power of a praying parent and she also has power the power of a praying wife so those are really good books um, for you ladies if you are a wife or a mother um, and then you, what do you recommend? What do you recommend? Uh, the one I'm reading right now is, uh, I got I forgot the name. It's about leadership. It's a book on leadership. But yeah, you can find a book on motivation, find a book on leadership, uh, find a book on personal development. There's there's all kind of books out there that you can read. Uh, My Miracle Morning is a good book I read. And that's about doing a daily act of discipline first thing in the morning, how it'll change your life. My Miracle Morning that one the slight edge is another good book i read those two books is what i what i started with hey but i will tell you though like we be getting up early and doing all this and then about around this time or like lunchtime we eat and oh, we're like oh we're tired and we can't take a nap we can't go to sleep we gotta keep going so there's another book i'm reading right now i'm trying to find the name of it it's about fatherhood it's about it's about the generation that we're in has the less fathers in the home it has the most single single mothers it has the most abortions it has um it's just the child the children are growing up uh seeing more pornography online than ever before they're seeing by the age of like 10 they've like a high percentage of them have already saw pornography online or they've already um seen a sexual reference on tv or youtube and uh, their fathers aren't in the home. And so their mom is left to be the mom and the dad. So it confuses the child. And then they have gender uh, issues. issues. Like they, they don't, they, they can't find their true identity. So they're confused about their gender or their identity because of what they're seeing on television and the internet and their single parent household. household. So we got as fathers and as men we have to step up and bridge that gap and be there in our kids lives and be the show show the kids that it, that it takes a unit to run a, a household a mother and a father to run the family 
when and then when the kids grow up it's hard for them to build a relationship with a spiritual father or look to god as their heavenly father because they never had that love or relationship with their real father so it, it's hard for an adult to really you know have faith in a spiritual father when their real father wasn't around so as men we have to really step up and, and be there for our kids and not just be there financially but be there you know emotionally and physically that's what the book I'm reading right now so. <laughs> that was deep alright we're heading to uh, my appointment and then I will update you on the I'm in the church with the preacher like yeah hey. I'm in the church with the preacher. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in the church with the preacher. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in the church with the preacher. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in the church with the preacher. Like I was in the streets with the hustlers and the dealers. Now I'm in the church house giving people hope uh -huh. Look at me today, baby, this a new creation They say they want to change, but they got too much temptation Man, come on, I be tempted every day Used to sip that medication and I love the way it tastes Hey, dirty devil, get up off me Had to kill my flesh, learn to overcome my body More of you, less of me, preaching at my concert Wake up and you know I'm on some prayer, push up Proverbs Now they see the fruit, they didn't see me playing Seeds. Morning after morning, giving thanks on my knees. Now my cup running over. I gave away the rover. I don't need no blood. I got the spirit on my shoulder. Leave me, Lord, I follow you. Cause I know you're yeah, the you you What for? I it. You fought it. <laughs> it. Holy Spirit in me right now. Yeah. 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 I feel it, yeah. Hey, this feel good. Feel real good.